been following a lot of folks on Facebook as they get ready for the 2024 racing season. It's hard to believe we're even saying that when we get down to it. But one of our friends from Central New York, uh, if you were in the Supers up at Oswego in the early 2000s, small block Supers a little bit after that, and of course, Dirt Modifieds in the area most recently, you know Andy Noto. You're looking at the roof of his new ride for this year. We had a feeling when he went down in North Carolina that maybe retirement wasn't necessarily the exact word, although he has a specific way that he's going to be doing that. So let's head out into, I believe it's pronounced Burgaw, North Carolina. That is, let me see, about 25 miles west of Wilmington. That's on the coast, by the way. Before we get going with Andy, though, we have to wish him a happy birthday. Happy 47th birthday, Andy. Oh, thanks, Doug. I appreciate it. How was your birthday? Did you have fun? Yeah, we had a blast. It was a good time. Very nice. Always, always have fun. You mentioned, uh, I think the way you, you said is, because uh, I remember we did an exit interview with you before you went down to North Carolina, and you said you were retired, but uh, I guess there was a, an, an addendum to that retired phrase, huh? Well, yeah, that's the running joke. Like, all my buddies give me crap about it. It's, yeah, I retired from dirt racing. Gotcha, but not from racing. So so what brought you to this? Because I kind of thought, you know, you're an open wheel guy. Everything you've ever done, mods, and, of course, everything at Oswego was open wheel. So I kind of thought if you were going to get into it, that an asphalt modified might be the way you might do it. What brought you to it? Well, it was just random chance. I had uh, one of our friends, A.J. Burnis, his, um, he runs a late model um, at Bowman Gray and had given me a call and sent me some messages um the week before their last race um they had an extended race i'm not exactly sure how many laps it was i think it was maybe 60 60 or 80 something like that and he needed a hand and needed somebody to spot for him so i was close and i said yeah i said i'll i'll take a ride up and uh give you a hand and um one of the guys that i worked with at the plant decided he was going to go with me so both of I, him and i went up and uh that's how it started it, it's unbelievable boma gray is just if you've never been there, you got to go there as a race fan. It is unbelievable. What makes it so un- unbelievably? Is it the crowd? Is it the atmosphere? Is it everything? Or Yeah, so I don't have an exact number of the amount of people that were there that, that night, but it was uh, it was filled from top to bottom, um, and just the energy was like Super Dirt Week times three on a regular wow. on a regular race night. It was unbelievable. I want to say somewhere's up around 20,000. 22,000 people were there for uh, their last race of the season. So it was unbelievable. I know a lot of you guys used to watch that reality show they had from a while. Did you tell me there was one point that your buddy looked at you and said something like, I know that look on your face or yeah, something? Yeah, so he's, uh, my buddy David, he's a big and avid race fan. And he, when we were sitting up in the spotter's tower, he just looked at me and I looked at him and he goes, oh boy, he gave me one of those. <laughs> what are you going to do now, moments? You know what I mean? So that's how it started. I blame it on AJ. It's his fault. Oh, it's, that's what it was. Okay, so if he hadn't called you that day, of course, eventually you probably would have found your way there, wouldn't you? I mean, it's, it sounds like a destination um, track. Yeah, we had went up to Jacksonville Speedway, which is close to me here, Jacksonville, North Carolina, and watched the late models race. And I was like, uh, you know what I mean? It, it was fun yeah. going to the racetrack. It's just I'm not a fender guy. Nothing against any of that I stuff. Understand. But I'm just. I'm not a finder guy. Not that they didn't put on good racing because they did. It, they did. It, okay. It's not my thing. Okay. So is so, this an SK modified? Is it a full blown Whalen modified? What is it? Nope it's a uh, it's a full blown uh, Whalen modified. Um, Bowman Gray runs a little bit different rules over there. Basically, the only difference in the cars are they run a, a ten inch tire um tire oh. wheel combination just like the uh small blocks would do at a at a Swigo. Yeah, the 350s are on a 10 inch tire too if I'm not yep, mistaken. Same so thing. so a little bit less tire than than for a NASCAR race then, right? Yep. So a little bit less tire uh the regular uh modifieds run a 13 inch tire so Okay. A little bit narrower. Yep. And you told me this is a proven car. Yeah, so this I bought so once that whole, I started that whole process of making some connections with people in the modified community, and um, Chris Fleming had actually he got at me, sent me a message. I put a post on Facebook that I was looking, to, you know, to buy something, and he got at me, and you know, one thing turned into I was going to buy a car as a roller, and then have a new motor built, and then we end up working a package deal out where I bought um, one of his complete motors and the car lock, sock, and barrel out the door. So. That's how we ended up with that. But that car won three races last year and then sat on the pole for the uh, for the Hayes Jeweler 200, which is the first race of the season this year coming up. 
So okay. when is that? When is your first race going to be? Uh, it, we time trial April 19th, and then the race is the 20th of April. Okay, so it's getting to be that time. And I know it's yep, NASCAR. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yep, we're getting close. I know it's NASCAR, so there is some things to do with licenses and things like that. And uh, But I would imagine as a 47-year-old, and I'm using the air quotes as I say this, rookie, <laughs> your experience might have been different. Yeah, so we um, they had media day and then like a semi-rookie orientation day uh, Saturday. So um, we drove up and filled out all the NASCAR license paperwork and the Bowman Gray paperwork and all that stuff. And then they kind of had a a little session where it was like, all right, here's rookie orientation. And they kind of looked at me and <laughs> like, Hey Andy, how long have you been racing? And I'm like, Oh, 18, 20 years, give or take, depending on how you want to look at it. Cause we've had a few years off here and there since sure. I started racing. And they're like, uh, and then they found out I ran super modified to the Twigo. So it was like, yeah, you're good. We'll, we'll see you later. <laughs> I, I wonder about We went and I ended up walking the track as they were doing the, the class yeah, just let him out it. there and let him see what he's going to be doing basically well so. yeah they wanted to check the track out it's it's if you've never been there you just even showing up on a non-race night it's 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 so neat the place is so cool well you said you compared it a little bit the track itself to kind of like evans mills a little bit yeah i think evans mills is maybe just a skosh bigger um oh, really it's smaller because the turns are a little bit wider um, Evans Mills, maybe because of the banking, but it's they're relatively pretty close to the same. Um, I would attribute it to that track. I guess I, I was, love Evans Mills when I ran there. It was great. that's a great place to race. It is, and, and of course they put a lot of money in the place too. It's really nice yeah. too. So they you know, know about super modifieds down there because I know Isma and MSS have a race in North Carolina in October, and I was wondering if, if even anybody even knew what they were down there. Do, do a lot of people know about supers in us? Yeah. Um, talking with chris i mean those guys all know about the super modifieds from the northeast right it's hard it's hard not to know what a super modified is if you're okay. in the open wheel community right like they all know you know 900 plus horsepower on 15 1600 pounds whether it's <laughs> yeah. non-wing or wing they you know offset motor it's they, a beast like you guys are nuts right so yeah yeah they know okay uh before i switch gears here any chance you might come up for the classic weekend when these cars are going to run at us we go is there any chance um I talked to my dad. I mean, it depends on where we're at as far as the rookie points at Bowman Gray and how the season's going I here. I mean, obviously, I, I've got a place to stay and work in a shop if sure. I need to when we go up there. You know what I mean? So it's not out of the realm. You know what I mean? Um, matter of fact, I think Bowman Gray's season uh, ends the third week of August. So. You know, we'll see where we're at at the end of the season with equipment and time and money and, you know, how all that goes. Okay. So, I do. Yeah, because you can't predict what's going to happen and yeah, you know, budget you know, you're going to have to use you know, this year. Especially so. Bowman Gray. I mean, you got you, everybody sees it on Flow. Flow does an amazing um, yeah. TV coverage there. They uh, A lot of bumpers get knocked off and <laughs> feeling turned. <turf, laughs> <so. Yeah. laughs> and wallets get hurt a little bit, too. A little over a minute left. I'm kind of curious. You mentioned you bought this thing, you know, turnkey, ready to go. I know a new modified now up here, a new dirt modified, you're right around $100,000, depending on how new you want to go and how much you want to spend in the motor. How is this, and you don't have, you can be as specific as you want to be here. Are the asphalt modifieds as expensive, less expensive, more expensive? Um, I mean, it all depends. It depends on what your budget is, right? Like, I mean, you can get a competitive modified, I would say, for out the door lock, stock, and barrel for about fifty grand, um, including motor. But same deal. We got there's big money tied up in their motors. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, same deal with the car. I, I will say, I think your weekly expense with an asphalt modified is going to be a lot more, just due to the simple fact of the amount of tires that you're right. buying. You know, well, you know about that. You've been to Oswego, so that is the biggest thing. Man, this 10 minutes went by way too fast, Andy. Um, no, make know. sure we get in touch after you have your first race. I want to let everybody know how you did, okay? Absolutely. All right, guys, remember to make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you'd like, there's somebody that we haven't gotten to yet, uh, make sure to let us know. I did this because I saw Andy's birthday was the other day, so that reminded me to give him a call. So, guys, wish you all the best. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you this weekend at Motorsports Expo.